Everywhere I go, it's just cursor, cursor, cursor. Every feed, every scroll. It's like the internet thinks cursor is the only AI coding tool that exists. But here's the thing. There are other options. And today I'm going to show you one that's not just different, but potentially better. Trey AI, a brand new AI coding tool that's completely free, for now, and packed with some seriously innovative features. Unlike Cursor, it's not just a VS code fork with a price tag. Trey brings its own approach to AI-powered coding with comment-driven generation, structured project-wide edits, and smart multimodal chat. Want full control over your AI coding experience without paying $20 a month? Let's dive into Trey and see what it brings to the table. You know that moment when your IDE just gets you? That's the power of great code completion. Take Cursor, super smart with context. It handles auto imports, multi-line suggestions, and even predicts across different parts of your code base. It feels like it already knows your project. Now with Trey, as soon as you hit enter, it suggests the next line, tab to accept all. Plus, you can guide it with comments. It'll try to generate what you describe. But what if you need entire sections of code generated from scratch? Let's talk about that next, code generation. Cursor takes this to the next level by combining code generation with AI-powered agent capabilities. The composer understands and implements entire project architectures, while agent mode acts like a senior developer at your command, handling everything from context gathering to terminal operations. Together, these tools can scaffold entire applications while keeping your project's style intact. Trey, on the other hand, takes a think-before-doing approach. Its builder mode first analyzes the task, confirms its understanding, then systematically breaks it down before making changes. You get real-time previews, so you always know what's happening before you commit. But once you have code, what if you need explanations or debugging help? That's where AI chat comes in. Cursor's chat is fully context aware. It knows what you're working on, lets you drag and drop folders for extra context, and even applies code suggestions directly. And here's something cool. It even supports images for visual context. Got a screenshot of an error? Cursor can help. Sometimes you just need to ask your editor for help. With Trey's AI chat, it's more than just answers. It actually builds with you. I asked it to create a Tower of Hanoi game from scratch, and it did. Then I uploaded a simple sketch of a to-do list, and Trey turned it into real HTML. Whether it's logic, layout, or quick debugging, just describe what you want, and Trey figures it out. Cursor extends its AI capabilities directly to the terminal. This lets you translate natural language descriptions into actual commands right in the terminal, making complex command line operations more accessible. However, it hijacks the terminal's clear shortcut, which is kind of annoying. Trey handles terminal operations through its chat interface rather than direct terminal integration. When you need a command, ask in the chat, and Trey will provide it with two options. Add to terminal, inserts the command into your terminal, ready to run with, Enter. Run inserts the command into your terminal and executes it directly. It's not as seamless as Cursor's direct terminal integration, but this approach still provides the help you need for command line operations. Now, AI is great at helping with small tasks, but what if you need it to work across your entire code base? That's where context awareness comes in. Cursor supports at files, at folders, and at code, which means you can literally say, type your instruction with the given context, and AI will know exactly what you're talking about. Trey gets full project context with smart tags like hashtag code and hashtag folder. Small projects are auto-indexed. Large ones need manual setup. Now, when it comes to code review, Cursor takes the lead. It has a built-in bug finder that scans your code, compares changes to your main branch, and flags potential issues then fixes them in one click. Trey, on the other hand, doesn't have dedicated AI review tools just yet. But before we wrap up, let's talk about pricing, because at the end of the day, cost matters. Cursor's pro plan is $20 per month, while business is $40 per user. Worth it if you want serious AI coding support. But Trey, it's completely free, at least for now. If you're looking for a budget-friendly AI IDE, this is a no-brainer.
So, which one is right for you? If you're looking for a highly polished enterprise-grade AI IDE with tons of customization options, Cursor might just be the tool you've been searching for. On the flip side, if you want something innovative, completely free, and built around a planning-first approach to coding, Tray is absolutely worth checking out. What do you think? Are you sticking with Cursor or ready to give Tray a spin? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's chat! And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic tech breakdowns.